What's up guys, Coach Justin here from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you four of my favorite go-to infield drills. They're gonna really help you with your fielding. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so the very first drill is ball handling. Now you might be thinking, ball handling? What the heck are you talking about? This isn't an infield drill. This is a basketball drill. Well, I'm a firm believer, especially as infielders, that the more that we handle the baseball, the more that we touch the baseball, the more that it's in our hands, we are going to be a better infielder because of it, okay? So think about how many ground balls that you receive in the season. Think about how many feeds that you have to make and how many feeds you have to catch for double plays and things like that. As infielders, we're touching the ball pretty much more than anyone else on the diamond, so we need to practice that. Now this is a drill, this ball handling drill. You can do this for two minutes before practice. You don't have to spend 20 minutes on this, but I recommend that you do this every single day. So just a baseball, no glove or anything else like that, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of bend over a little bit at the waist and we are gonna slowly work the baseball until we get the hang of it. We're gonna work the baseball around our torso area and we're gonna gradually pick up speed. This is a great drill to develop soft hands. We can switch up directions, okay? And if you, you realize if you have stone hands, you're gonna drop the ball. So you have to have soft hands and remain soft with your hands throughout the entire exercise. Now, it's more important uh, to do the drill right than it is to do it with speed. So if you have to go slow at first, you know, until you get the feeling for it, then do that. But gradually try to see how fast you can go. So start out with your torso. And then from there, we're gonna actually work our way down our body so we can do around our knee area like this, a little bit lower around our ankles. And then my favorite one is figure eights. Figure eights, just like a basketball player would do. Okay, figure eights, boom. All right, now it's time for the 4X momentum drill. Now, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen the drill where I talk about the momentum drill. What this drill is, is you set up your cone similar to a triangular fashion, and what we're working on is we're working on getting around the baseball a little bit and then fielding the ball right, left, catch, right, left, throw. We're working on getting around the baseball, developing proper footwork, instead of just sprinting right up to the baseball and stopping. So now we're just gonna do the momentum drill, but we're gonna do it four times right in a row, getting into great fielding positions. So this is what it looks like. All right guys, the next drill is what I like to call the recovery drill. Now let's face it, obviously our goal as an infielder is to field every single baseball cleanly, but is that gonna happen? No, that's just not reality. So we might as well prepare for when balls take a bad hop on us or when we bobble a baseball. We're not just gonna let the guy run and be safe, we're gonna recover and make the play. So you can do this drill by yourself all you have to do is get down into a fielding position, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna toss the ball off of our chest, just like this, and then we're gonna recover and make the play. Get into a good throwing position, four seam grip on the baseball. So you wanna throw the ball off your chest, do it different ways, put different spin on it, but you can do this drill absolutely anywhere. So fielding position, off my chest, recover, throwing position. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Fielding position, off my chest, throwing position. The last drill is what I like to call the ladder drill. You're gonna need an agility ladder for this, okay? And all we're working on is again, getting into our proper right, left footwork to field the baseball. So you can do this without any baseballs, and then you can gradually work your way up to incorporating a baseball in this drill. But we're just gonna start on the back side here, and all we're gonna do is our footwork's gonna be right, left into the boxes, and then get into a good solid fielding position, and then back out, okay? Right, left. Back out. For smaller players, this might be wide enough for your feet. For you older guys, you might have to go with a box in between like that. But all we're focusing on is right, left, good fielding position, flat back, and then bounce out. Right, left, bounce out. Right, left, bounce out. Right, left, bounce out. so 
so much for watching today's video. And really quickly before you go, I want to share with you a free gift that I created for you. This is a free bat speed boosters workout that's guaranteed to boost your bat speed five to 10 miles an hour. It's going to help you hit more doubles, hit more home runs. And who doesn't want to do that, right? It's 100% free, a free gift. All you have to do to grab it is just click on the very first link below this video in the description. That'll take you to my website. I just need your email address and I'll send you this free uh, bat speed workout, okay? So go ahead and grab the bat speed boosters workout right now. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because we're coming out with new baseball videos every single week. So do those two things and then go grab your free bat speed boosters workout. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.